It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once already. Today's winner moves on to join Hyattsville as the second of the four semifinalists in this year's middle school competition. Let's meet them now. First, from Benjamin Falloy Academy, please say hello to Nasir Phillips. Brea Browner and Imari Piles. And from Greenbelt Middle School, here they are, Rashawn Williams, Chanello Igbo, and Sebastica Thangdere. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade. A Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history, and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the questions with the easier ones worth five and ten points on the left. Tougher, 15, 20, ultimately 25, toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties for incorrect answers. Into the two rounds today, we will have our second member of the final four in the middle school competition. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go first to the red team. Brea, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. And uh, Chinello's last name is Ebo. The G is silent. My apologies, Chinello. You're a great young lady. Would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Sebastica and to Rashawn. Are we ready to play this game? Yes. I know you guys are ready. You've got skills all over the place. Let's have a good time. Let's have some fun at the same time. We go alphabetically B before G. So, Brea, let's start us out. May we have green things for 10, please? Green things for? 10 points. Teams, the first genetically modified plant that was licensed for human consumption was the flavor saver variety of this vegetable that's essential for making the BLT sandwich. Green belt. Not the lettuce. Good try, Benjamin Falloy. The flavor saver what vegetable essential for a BLT? Tomato. Tomato is right. <laughs> absolutely right. I think the flavor part was the clue there. Lettuce maybe doesn't have too much flavor to it. Okay. Um, may we have Zoo Parade for 20? Zoo Parade for 20 points. Absolutely right. Teams, elephants don't have fur, but they have tiny bristly hair, which surprisingly, along with their big ears, helps them to thermoregulate, meaning it helps them to do what? Greenbelt. Yes. Regulate their body heat. Absolutely right. Regulate their body temperature. It actually surprisingly helps to keep them cool even though there's a fine layer of fur or hair on them. Okay, 70 to 60, green belt, go. 25 points. 20 points. 20 points. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the tiny bones in your body, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes are better known as the hammer, the anvil, and the what? Green belt. Yes, ma'am. No guess there. Benjamin Falloy, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes are very tiny bones in your body. They're better known as the hammer, the anvil, and the what? The stirrup. The stirrup. Those are the tiny little bones in your ear here that transmit the sound waves into the inner ear. All right, try again, green. Kind of old. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Teams, your question is as uh, follows. This is an interesting tale. There's a bird called the ant bird that is much bigger than an ant, but surprisingly, it has this kind of lifestyle because it steals food from columns of army ants since it's taking from something else. Greenbelt, what does it make the ant bird? Feed, 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 
Yes, ma'am. A thief? Uh, give me a different term, please. A robber. A predator. Or, I guess, why not? A predator? Not quite. Not quite. Benjamin Falloy, this ant bird that actually steals food from columns of army ants, makes it, gives it a strange reversal there. What kind of lifestyle is it following? What do you think, guys? Prey? Ooh, close. No. Parasite. It's a parasite. It's a parasite on the ants. So thief was very close. We just needed you to give us a, a better term there. Nice try, both teams. 70, 60, still go green. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, element number 92 on the periodic table of elements is the name also associated with this seventh planet from the sun. Green belt. Uranium. Uranium, and the planet is? Uranus. Absolutely right. Good answer. Go green. Green belt. Green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. Team's question is as follows. Tropical evergreens in the rainforest, it's interesting because since the rainfall is about the same all year long and there's no change in season, they don't form these, so you can't really tell how old they are if you cut them down. Green belt. Yes. Ring. Rings, yes, they don't form those annual rings as clearly as happens here in the temperate part of the world. 105 to 60. Come on, Benjamin Floyd, jump back in here. Go, Chinello. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, look at the monitor in the studio, please. One of the best photosynthesizers on Earth is this K initial kind of seaweed that lives. Benjamin Floyd. Kelp. Kelp it is. That's a kelp forest. Extremely good at converting sunlight into energy and food. All right, you're back in the game. Go, Brea. Zoo parade. Uh, 25 for zoo parade. Zoo parade for 25 points. Teams, when the panda mom, Mei Zhang, the national zoo, called out, cried out when her pup, her uh, cub was in trouble, that's an example of what kind of behavior? Green belt. Maternal instinct. Absolutely right. It's maternal instinct. Nicely done. Good thinking over there. Good team playing. Go green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Team, child psychologists now say that child's play is a lot like science experimentation. You are calculating probabilities and you're testing these. Green belt. Hypothesis. Yeah, you're testing hypotheses as you're a kid. Well, can I climb that wall and not fall? Let's check it out. All right, the buzzer is rung. We've come to the end of the first round. 75 for Folloy, 145 for Greenbelt. Lots of questions, more science bowl ahead. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jordan Sparks, and my I Matter You campaign is all about making a difference, and SOS Children's Villages does just that. I cannot believe how many children SOS has helped around the world by building villages, helping abandoned children, and giving them a mother and house to grow up in. I'm calling on everyone that I know to support SOS in their efforts to help kids at risk of abandonment in countries like Sudan, Vietnam, and Haiti. SOS helps these children over the long term, and you can make a real difference in a child's life. M-A-D, making a difference. That's what it's all about, and SOS is one of the best. You've got to check them out at SOSUSA.org. SOS Children's Villages gives homes and hope to children in need all around the world. Join SOS and Jordan Sparks in making a difference. Visit SOSUSA.org to learn more. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Hope you're enjoying today's game. As you're noticing, these young people are very good at answering our questions. They've been here before, they've succeeded, and they're here today hoping to move on in our competition. Doing a fine job. Benjamin Falloy Academy, relatively new school. 
and Dr. Payne is down there. And who's the sponsor of your team, Brea? Miss Thompson. Well, now she's Miss Morris. Miss Morris. All right. She's got a little name change there. <laughs> all right. And any alternates on your team? Tiana Murphy. Wonderful. She's out there too. And uh, you guys are all so comfortable on stage. This is a performing school, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So you've got song and dance and, and theater. You've got everything down there, correct? Yeah. Brea, why why'd you choose Benjamin Polloy? Well, I've always wanted to be an actor, and I thought that going to perform in our school that's free would help first, and it would help benefit me. So. <laughs> and your parents are very happy about that word free in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And you're around like-minded people, you know? So it's like, hey, I'm doing something other people like to do, too. Yeah. Doing a nice job here. You mm -hmm. want to see, do yourself, uh, see yourself doing that professionally some days, performing? Of course. I'm starting to do auditions now, so I'm starting to get the hang of the real world. Yeah. Well, you've got a nice way about you. You have a nice stage presence. <laughs> you're going to you. do well. You're, you're welcome. And Mara, you too. I mean, you've got all kinds of things. You can hardly contain your excitement. <laughs> and someday you want to end up as? A music producer. Yeah. And would you like to like produce uh, music for Broadway shows or movies? Or um, it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. <laughs> and you write music now, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And you sing. Yes. You sing. And uh, you hope to hopscotch among universities and colleges and get the best of each of them, right? Yes. And they get the best of you, too, along the way. Nice yep. to have you back. Nasir, uh, you're always giving me that nice smile. What's on your <laughs> mind today? What do you like to do in your spare time? Draw, watch TV, sleep, eat. Yeah, I know you like to sleep. You're, you're making it look like you're kind of a slacker or a guy, but you're not, because you got, it all, you got it all on the ball there. What kind of TV shows do you like? What's your favorite TV show? Modern Family. One more time, Science Bowl. What's your favorite TV show? <laughs> Modern Family. Okay, all right, let's see if they win today. Nice job, it is a good show. Let's go over to Greenbelt. Chanello, how do you guys do so well? It's like you finish each other's sentences. Have you been preparing for this? Yeah, we have, but like, uh, I don't know, we kind of know each other, so. Yeah, you know each other, so that makes a big difference, doesn't it? And the Folloy team, you all guys, you guys are finishing your own sentences too over there. It's nice to have some friends with you on stage here. Uh, tell me about Greenville. It's a brand new school. It's an old school, but you got a brand new building. <laughs> yeah, and I've been over there. It's a brand new gym and cafeteria. Everywhere you look, it's like, wow, wow, wow. And the colors reflect the Greenville tradition over there, too. Who's your principal? Mr. Warren Tweedy. Yeah, Mr. Tweedy's out there. Uh, Mr. Tweedy was a student of mine at one time, in fact. <laughs> and the sponsor of your team is Dr. Gupta. Gupta, absolutely. And he was with us earlier when he was at Benjamin Stoddard Middle School, so it's nice to have him back. And he's helped us judge in the past as well. Chanello, uh, the world is your oyster. You've got so much talent. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a neonatologist. Neonatologist. So you're going to be working with very young children. And uh, Sebastica, you're also interested in young children, aren't you? Yes. You want to be a pediatric? Um, pediatrician. Pediatrician, absolutely right. All right, so yes, you share that in common. Uh, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to play the piano, read books, draw. Yeah. How long have you played the piano? This is going to be my sixth or seventh year, I'm not sure. Do you give recitals ever? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're uh, the pride and joy of your family, and you're doing such a nice job here today, too. And Rashawn, uh, he was joking earlier that he's such a great voice, but just not for human ears. Are there species that appreciate your voice, Rashawn? Um, yes, most other species um, appreciate <laughs> My dogs, voice. cats, so, things like that? Oh, well, well, except for dogs and cats. <laughs> Every time, like, dogs and cats see me, they want to, like, eat, like, claw at my skin or bite my skin. <laughs> so I kind of sing for things that are, like, how do you say, in cages. And, uh -huh. Yeah. They can't get so, to you. So, so, no, so, so, so it's like, I don't think of it like they're going to kill me if they hear me sing. I think of it as, like, they prefer to be in a stadium, and so they can, like, scream my name in like an organized fashion in their language. <laughs> Russia, 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 Russia. Maybe you had a, you've got a, a career on stage here. Stand up, huh? Yeah. You're great. You. And I know you're still trying to figure out where to direct your talents, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping my options open. All right. so. Well, you're a great guy. Good to have you back. Let's get back to our game. Greenbelt, 145, 75 for Poloy. Lots of points to give away. Start us out, Chanello. Okay. Deadline size for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams have discovered a brand new dinosaur from a fossil, Pegomastix, 
It looks like a cross between a porcupine and a vampire and a bird, but it's got tiny little teeth. So it probably shared what step in the food chain, also occupied by Triceratops and a Apatosaurus. <laughs> Herbivore? A herbivore, absolutely yeah. right. A plant eater. Nicely done. Go again. Green things for 25. Green things, 25. Big one in that category. Teams, what adjective describes teeth that fall out, horns that fall off an animal's head, and trees that drop? Green belt. Yeah, deciduous? Deciduous, absolutely right. Trees that drop their leaves. Deciduous trees, deciduous horn. And baby teeth are considered deciduous because they fall out as well. All right, again, please, green belt. Zupre for 20, I mean, 10. Zupre for 10 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Teams, this fearsome looking squid actually eats slime and doesn't drink blood, as what name for it implies. Green belt. Vampire? Yes, it's the vampire squid. False advertising, it doesn't drink blood at all. It would never be on true blood. Go, green. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, we all know what diarrhea is. What's rhinorrhea? <laughs> green belt. Um, like, is, it has to do with the nose. Well, what's happening with your nose? It's, it's congested. Snot's gonna leak you. Like snot? coming out? Yes, that's right. Stuff is coming out of your nose. Absolutely right. You've got a drippy snoot. Okay, go again, green. Body 20. systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points, teams. Lots of big words, but a fairly simple answer if you listen carefully. If you go in for a DXA test, dual x-ray absorptiometry, they're going to measure the mineral density in your bones to find out, particularly if you're a woman, if you are affected with this disease. Green cancer. cancer? Not cancer. Good try. They're measuring in this DXA test, Falloy, the, bin, uh, the mineral density in your bones to find out, particularly if you're a woman, if you have this disease. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Min uh, the bones tend to demineralize, especially in older women. Go again, please. Green. <laughs> Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, in the theater, you are all theater people. If they're trying to create this, they have a machine where they add dry ice to make what this is. Yes, green belt. Smoke? smoke. Not, not smoke. Judges? Not smoke or steam. They're using dry ice, Benjamin Floyd, in the theater to create this ground level cloud on oh, stage. Okay. Fog. Fog, yes. If you just listened to that last part, you would have gotten a nice comeback, Red Go. Brea. Um, let's give physical for 25. Let's give physical for 25. Big question in that category. Teams, we're talking weapons of mass destruction. The very first atomic bomb got its energy from fission, the splitting of an atom. The later hydrogen bomb, the thermonuclear bomb, got its energy by joining two nuclei together. That's not fission, that's what, Green Belt? Fusion. Fusion, absolutely good, for 25, go. Body systems for 25. Body systems 25, big in that category. Teams, the suffix I-T-I-S, itis, as in dermatitis and tonsillitis and appendicitis, has an incendiary meaning. What does it mean if you have these itises? What does itis mean? Disease of the body. Not disease of the body, good try. Remember, I said it has an incendiary meeting. Itis, dermatitis, appendicitis, tonsillitis. Yes, ma'am. Infection. Give me more. Um, like, the yeah, the immune system. I mean, the body's infected. Like, the. Not quite enough. You're so close. It's inflamed. Incendiary means fire, so it gets all red and inflamed. That's what the itis stands for. That was a tough question. You did well in your guesses. Again, please, Chinello. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, charged particles that come from solar flares come down to Earth. They hit the oxygen, mo oxygen molecules in our air, and they create these wonderful light shows that we see. Green bells. 
Aurora lights. Yes, the Aurora lights, the Aurora Borealis at the North Pole and the Aurora Australis at the South Pole. Nicely done. Go, please. Size potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, there is no evidence that vitamin D can prevent or ease this wintertime affliction of sniffling. Green belt. The cold. The common cold, that's right. We can't cure the common cold. Try as we might. Try again. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, when Felix Baumgartner jumped from that capsule 23 miles up. Who Green belt. Sound, sound, sound barrier? Not sound barrier, Benjamin Floyd. When he jumped from that capsule, he was in what S initial layer of the atmosphere when he jumped? Stratosphere? Stratosphere is right. Yes, ma'am. Go. Um, can we have science Pope Brief for 25? Pope Brief for 25 points. Teams. This is a very interesting question. Think carefully, and it's logical. They're now making new airplanes out of carbon instead of aluminum, which means when you get into a plane now, the air inside the cabin can have a lot more humidity in it, more water vapor, because now the planes are not in danger of doing this. What do you think, Greenbelt? Falling. Not falling, no. More water vapor now in the air in the cabin. It won't be so dry anymore because the planes are made of carbon instead of aluminum, which means the plane can no longer do this. Catch on fire. Rust. Rust. Water vapor, moisture would cause rusting up there. It, 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 it makes sense, but it's, it's a tough question. Try again, Red. Um, can we have green things for five, please? Green things for five points, teams. The most commonly eaten seed in America? Benjamin Floyd? Sunflower seed. Not sunflower. I would have given more information because Greenbelt's going to get it now. The most commonly eaten seed in America is found on this street full of Muppets. Oh, sesame. Oh, oh sesame. Yes, oh, sesame. Ha <laughs> comes the dawn. Go green. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, back in 1962, Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, was all about the effects of pesticides on these animals. Greenbelt. Fish. fish. Not fish, no. Come on, you need 25 points, Beloy. Ben, uh, Rachel Carson's 1962 book, Silent Spring, was all about the effects of pesticides on what animals? Mammals? Birds, birds. That was the silent spring. The birds weren't singing anymore. All right, go green. Nine signs for 20. Again, please. Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Team's multiple choice question. Doctors now say that if you take too many analgesic tablets, you can lose your hearing permanently. So be very careful about the number of pills you take for uh, headache, Cholesterol reduction or acid reflux? Acid reflux. Green belt. Headache? Headaches it is. That's an analgesic. Good answer. Go green. Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, <laughs> it would never fit on a girl's finger, but a newly discovered planet is solidly made of this very expensive kind of carbon. Green belt. That's too Diamond. It is diamond. Absolutely good. Green, go. Zupray for five. Zupray for five points, teams. When it comes to sports teams' names, Baltimore is one giant aviary. Greenbelt. Raven. Bird. I need more Benjamin Floyd. It's an aviary up there in Baltimore. The sports teams, plural. It's a giant aviary. Why? The Orioles, 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 popping of bubbles in your synovial fluid that causes the sound when you crack your what? Green belt? Knuckles. Knuckles, yeah. Oh, what an irritating sound that is. That's an irritating sound, too, because it means our game is over and we've enjoyed having all six of our players here today. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your poster outside. 
I saw your poster outside. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection. might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Welcome back. We haven't enjoyed a science bowl game this much in a long time because the personalities of these young people is so great. Great students, great sportsmen. We're going to miss them, but one team's coming back. Our final tally today is Benjamin Floyd 110, Greenbelt 300. Congratulations, Chinello and Rashawn and Sebastica and Taj. I know you're happy, Dr. Santosh Gupta, congratulations to you as well. You are the second of our finalists in this year's competition. Benjamin Falloy, you guys, I don't want to see you go. You're wonderful. Give us that nice smile you've got. You're all performers, Amari, Abrea, and Nasir. Tiana, I know you were rooting for them down there. Miss Thompson, they did a tremendous job, and we loved having you here. We loved having you watch. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.